Hello and welcome to Catalone API testing tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk a bit more about profiles in Catalone Studio or execution profiles. So in the left hand side in this test explorer navigation, if you see, we have the profile section and default is the profile that is always there when you install Catalone Studio because whichever test case you are executing by default, if you define any global variable, you define it into, into the default execution profile. To create a new profile, now when we talk about profile or execution profile, these profiles are basically to segregate your um, test environment. So for example, you have different test environments which uh, have different endpoints, say test environment, UAT environment, and then you have pre-production environment and production environment. All those will be having a different set of configurations or different default parameters which you might be defining in your profiles uh, or execution profile or different endpoints where which you will try to hit those endpoints right so that is the whole purpose of giving the flexibility of profile so that you can define your test environment and define the global variables in those profiles which are specific to those profiles uh, or to those execution in environments for example test environment might have something specific very specific uh, parameter or variable which is specific to test environment or production might have something specific uh, and in in endpoint or the, uh, the url is the first thing that will be very unique for each environment so to define a new profile you just click right click and click on execution profile and provide the name of the profile so i'll just say test environment and hit ok now you'll see another environment profile test environment profile has been created i'll create one more and i'll say uh, pre-prod and then i'll create one more for the production so this is usually how it will be in the actual testing scenarios right so you'll be having a set of test cases that you want to execute on different test environments and then pre before you actually release your tests or release your code into the production environment now what when when we say these endpoints or profiles so when we create the profiles for example let's open the test environment now what you can do is if we can add the variables so for example url url or the test environment url or pre-production url will be um, similar sort of different for each of these execution environment so for example test environment might be something we'll say app.asana.com or it might be something like test app.asana.com right so then let me remove this asana from here and just say test app dot test um, rcv dot com okay so just a dummy url just to show you how we'll be able to create these urls and use these different urls in the execution okay so we'll say okay now in the pre-prod we'll add another uh, same name url as a string and then HTTPS and provide the endpoint URL and name it as um, we'll say UAT app okay and hit OK so now what I have done is I have defined the URL in the test environment as test app and then in the UAT uh, it is UAT app dot test rcv dot com right so both the environments will have different urls now when we want to execute any test case right so for example get task detail so here as you, as of now you can see that we have hard coded this value in each of each, each of the test cases right so this url or the environment url is hard coded in each of the test case now say for example tomorrow you want to execute these test cases in different environment so you won't be able to i mean it will be very tedious task to up, go and update 100 200 500 test cases that you have written 
with these endpoints so that is the whole purpose of having the execution profile so that you don't hard code this value here and what you can do is you, similarly as we learn about the global variable or the test case variable we'll simply say dollar and then we'll say uh, global variable right and then we'll say url okay so now what will happen is depending on which profile you select from this drop down okay it will pick the url from that particular profile so we have defined url variable in the test environment and in the pre-prod right so if we choose the test environment now it will pick the url from the test environment and this test case will run successfully or this request will run successfully we haven't defined uh, added these requests to the test case yet so we'll say this request will run successfully so let's save everything and run this request because this is a dummy url it will throw an error but that's fine i just want to show you that it's picking the url right so you'll see that test app it, it gave us a warning and it said test app dot test, test rcv dot com node name nor serve name provided okay so but you, you can see this url url has been picked up from the test environment let me hit okay and let's change it to uh, pre prod all right and then run it and now you will see uat app dot test rcv dot com that another url has been picked up which has been defined in the pre prod environment okay so let me change it to uat i defined it as pre prod and then so uat okay so we have defined two urls one for the UAT environment, one for the test environment. So similarly, if you have multiple test environments and you want to execute same test cases in all those test environments, what you need to do is in all these requests, you just don't hard code the, the value or the endpoint in the test case. You just replace it with the variable, global variable, okay? With dollar colon, uh, so, sorry, dollar curly brace and the global variable dot whatever the variable name that you have provided like in this request uh, get task detail we have provided global variable dot url okay so now it is not this value is not hard coded and depending on the profile that we'll choose we can execute a number of test cases accordingly without uh, changing any of the endpoints so that's one uh, usage of the profile or the execution profile and it is very helpful in Catalon Studio if you define your test cases accordingly and define your profiles uh, in a better way so maintainability of your test cases will be really really easy now the next thing will be around say for example in the test environment profile I have defined another variable say task GID right which is I'll change it to the number and I'll provide some value there. Okay, so it's just dummy value there ending with 456. Save this request and now in the request, so get task detail, right? So I have provided global variable dot task GID. Okay, and in the test environment, I have provided task GID. Now, when I'll run this particular request, okay, on the test environment, on this execution profile, let's see which task gid will it pick because in this particular get task detail there is a task gid uh, defined at the test case level then there is a task gid defined at the global variable level so global variable uh, there is one in the test environment and then there is a default uh, default profile which also has the task gid now when you will run this particular task detail get task detail and you have defined that pick it from the global variable okay so the first thing that this test case will do is it will check which profile is selected which execution profile is selected it will see that test environment is selected and it will check whether this um, task gid is defined in test environment right if it is defined it will pick the value from there otherwise it will go and uh, go back to default profile and check the task gid in the default profile and if it is there it will pick the value from there so let's execute and see that this is happening okay so i'll run this 
okay let me change this url first so in the test environment i'll put the correct url so i'll say test uh, i'll say app.asana.com so that the request gets through successfully oops app dot okay so click ok and let me save all these requests I'll run it again in the test environment and now the task GID that has been picked up you will see three four five four three four five six which is defined in the test environment right now if there is no task GID defined at the test environment profile level let me delete it and try to execute the test case again this request again and then see where so now you will see double one double five three six zero nine five which is the task GID defined at the default profile level right so this is the hierarchy basically so if there is a, a variable defined at the test case level right and you want to use it you don't need this global variable uh, here so it will pick from the test case level if you have defined a, a variable at the profile level it will pick up from that particular profile so you'll see that if there is any variable defined in that particular global profile or execution profile if not it will go back to the default profile and try to get the details of that particular variable if it is defined then it will pick the value otherwise it will throw you an error so that's a brief about the execution profile in Catalon studio very helpful very easy to understand and this is very important when you are doing your actual project testing and defining your test cases um, defining your test environment separately and not hard coding the endpoint in your test cases is the key for good maintainability of test cases in any of the API testing. So hope you like the tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.